broadcasting live now on Twitter, on Facebook. If you'd like more free information or you'd like to see many of the recorded broadcasts I've done, then just go to septictank.co.uk and there it is. There's my shop and my site where you can get more information. Now, today we're going to look at percolation tests, how to do a percolation test, okay? So that's what we're looking at today. And the information that we're looking at is based on the guidance given by UK Building Reg. So here we go. So let me show you this, right? So we're going to look at the percolation test method. All right, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. So I'm going to show you, right, how to do a percolation test, okay? So I'm going to move this screen along to here, all right? And um, I am now going to get this up. Ba-da! All right, so here we go. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so let's say, all right, you've got your house and you've got your pipe. Okay, so you've got your piping. So you've got your levels. So you've got your piping and you've got your septic tank in the hole, in the ground. Now, you need to work out whether the ground is suitable for your soak away. So it, this percolation de test will determine the size of your soak away and the types of soak away products that you can use. OK, so so just starting first of all. Right. So just starting first of all. So we're just looking here. All right. So let me just get the screen up here. So I'm going to read this to you live. That's right. Live <laughs> off the building regs. All right. So now here's your septic tank. Now it shows there. It says that. A hole 300 millimeters square should be excavated to a depth 300 mil below, below the proposed invert depth. All right, so here is the outlet. So let's put the outlet of the tank on. All right, so here we go. Da, 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 da. There you go, there's the outlet pipe. So building reg states that 300 mil below the probably about 150 millimeters. Once you've done that, make a note of the time. Okay. Now, before I go on to how to work the calculation out, it said the test should be carried out at least three times with at least two trial holes. So here's another trial hole that I've dug away from the tank. There you go. And again, in this instance, I'm going to fill both holes up with 300 mil of water. Don't forget, we've already put the water in the night before it's seeped away. So we've now come the next morning, we filled the trial holes up with water, 300 mil full. Then we wait until the water dissipates or soaks away, seeps away to about 75% of its original volume, its height. Then we get our stopwatch and we go right, then we click start, and then we time it from 75% to 25%. OK, which equates to about 150 mil. All right. Of seepage there. Now, when we've done that. All right. Let's get back to our original hole. Now, obviously, the other 25 percent is also going to drain away, too. But just keeping it simple here, just keeping it nice and simple. Right. And I'll read this to you. Right. So. Once you've got the time or the mean average for for over, you've done each hole three times. OK, each of the two holes, you can do three holes if you want, but I normally do about two holes. It says divide this time by 150 and this gives the average time in seconds. It's a V. It's a V with a little P by it required for the water to drop one millimeter. And it carries on building reg states here. If I read this to you, it states that the the test, uh, no, sorry, 1.38 drainage field disposal should only be used when percolation tests indicate average values of V, of the P of between 12 and 100. And the preliminary site assessment report and trial hold tests have been favorable. OK, this minimum value ensures that untreated effluent cannot percolate too rapidly into groundwater, where V, P is outside these limits, effective treatment is unlikely to take place in a drainage field. 
However, provided an alternative form of secondary treatment is provided to treat the effluent from the septic tanks, it may still be possible to discharge the treated effluent to a soak away. So there you go. So that is a real basic overview of how to do a percolation test to test the suitability of the soil conditions where you propose to put your soak away. So I hope that's helped. I'm going to post this on um, my sites in a bit. It'll be available on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. But basically, dig a hole 300 by 300 by 300, fill it with 300 mil of water, let it seep away overnight. Then the next day, once it once it's seeped away, fill it again to 300 mil, wait until 25% of it has seeped away, so you've got 75% left. Start your stopwatch and time it from 75% of its height to 25% of its height, which equates to about 150 mil. Once you've got the time there, you basically can work out the time that the water takes to seep away. And then you can test to see whether your ground is suitable for a soak away or what kind of soak away or the size of the soak away or whether you need a secondary form of treatment or not. So there you go. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch my um, live broadcast today. If you want any additional information, then just visit septictank.co.uk where you'll find lots more um, free advice and information. So thank you very much for watching this live broadcast day. I'm going to do another one later, but um, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll speak to you soon.